y'all. My name is Stephanie Wink here, and I am with the Legacy Movement, and I'm with David Laborde. How are you, David? I'm fantastic. How are you? Doing fantastic myself. Can you just tell the people a little bit about yourself and what you're doing right now? Sure. So, my name is David Laborde. I'm a physician turned healthcare IT entrepreneur, okay. and I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called Swift PayMD. And Swift PMD is focused on solving what I call a big problem, a $6 billion problem that results from charges for services rendered in the hospital by physicians that go uncaptured each and every year. And uh, we solved that problem with a mobile charge capture solution used by doctors on their smartphone or tablet. It basically delivers their charges to their office immediately after they see the patient. Nice. Sounds interesting. Um, how did you transfer into entrepreneurship? Well, it's always been a passion of mine. When I went to medical school, I spent two years getting an MBA. I went to Yale for medical school. I went to Harvard for business school. And uh, from there, I actually went on and finished up medical school, went out, had some clinical practice, but also worked at a management consultancy called McKinsey and & Company. And there, I worked with hospitals uh, and helped them with operations and strategy around how to, how to build their business and make it more successful and really gained a lot of key insights that allowed me to understand how to better uh, serve providers and, and help them be more efficient with their, uh, with their business. Right. And when I say providers, I mean doctors and nurse practitioners and uh, physician's assistants. Uh, so uh, we actually piloted a software that uh, I developed with uh, another uh, colleague of mine at Georgia Tech. Okay. And uh, we had some early traction. We actually expanded our product from one facility to five facilities and that really was when we made the break we got some seed capital and went out and really started doing it full time. Okay, so you just went ahead and did it, went ahead and charged it. What is that on the assessment of the entrepreneurial landscape in healthcare? Healthcare can be tough. I think it's a great time to, uh, to be doing entrepreneurship in healthcare however with the stimulus and all the activity in healthcare IT and the big drive and push for consumer driven healthcare. Uh, I think there's a lot of awareness out there around how mobile technology can really make healthcare better. So I think it's a very interesting time. I think there's a lot of money going to support uh, people trying to improve some aspect of healthcare. Uh, I think there are challenges in healthcare. Uh, one of the things is you know data security, patient information. You have to make sure it's protected. Uh, so that's a challenge and one of the significant differences from a lot of other spaces. In addition, uh, I think it's hard to get to, to doctors. If you're really trying to sell a solution to a hospital or to providers, that can be a significant hurdle that you need to overcome. And really, the most important thing in a new company is sales and getting to revenue quickly. That's right. That's right. So you've done accelerator programs before, correct? We did. We participated in an accelerator program out of Chicago called Healthbox. Okay. Can you describe that experience for us? It was a very, uh, it was a very interesting experience. Uh, during our time in that ex accelerator, we actually pivoted and we really changed the focus of our business. I think one of the, the benefits of accelerators is you get the opportunity to interact with so many people who can give you their thoughts and in aggregate, you get a very realistic picture about where your business stands, what the value, propos what the value proposition is and if it resonates with customers, does it resonate with investors, and I think the most valuable way to spend that time is really getting out and trying to validate and what, do what I call fail fast. If you're going to fail, you want to know now. And uh, it doesn't do you any good to not have a realistic picture about whether your product can get traction. Uh, only to find out, you know, two years later after you've spent all your resources that you have no revenue. Right. So um, that was really the benefit. And I think uh, when I say benefit, the progress we made in that period of time I think was much greater uh, than we would have made otherwise. Yeah, you got you got more done quickly and absolutely instead of wasting time. I understand that. That's everybody's. Um, that's what everybody wants to do is move forward as fast as they can. What's your next steps in your, your venture here? So uh, we we have uh, beta sites uh, where our solution is being used, and what we're doing is really trying to stay in front of our customers, learn what our product does well, learn what our product does poorly, and iterate on our solution. And I think the other key thing is building our team and uh, really bringing in talented people. A startup is only as good as the people on the team. That's right. And so uh, we're really focused on act acquiring uh, the smartest people we can who can really move the needle. Okay, and if anybody wants to reach out to you and help you, what, what can they do right now for you? What do you need right now? 
We need talent. We need people with passion. We need people who love healthcare. We need people who can really get out there and interact with the customer and translate that into uh, you know, features and functionality in our solution. Uh, we also are looking for people who understand sales, uh, people who uh, have experience uh, selling into healthcare. Uh, as I said, sales is one of the most important, um, one of the most important aspects of a startup: uh, sales and product. Uh, so we're, we're just looking for talent and uh, people who, who uh, are hungry. Are hungry. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Again, David Labor, thank you so much for your thank information. You. It sounds amazing and exciting, and I wish you the best. And um, that's all we got. Legacy Movement. I'm Stephanie, and you guys have a great day.